Russian soldier, a Marine, was recently killed in Syria. He was a member of a helicopter crew that was attacked by militants. And we went to the funeral. It was an impressive affair. There was a military band serving members of the armed forces, veterans, a thousand or more members of the local community. His name was Alexander Pozenich. His family was there too, of course. He had two young children who now are without a father. You probably remember the story. Uh, the helicopter was fired on by a group of militants who also filmed what they were doing. They then uploaded their pictures and they were shared worldwide. And I think people in this country were genuinely surprised, shocked even, by what had happened. Uh, you know, on Russian state television every night, people are told by the presenters that Russian forces are engaged in a virtuous war in Syria and that their armed forces are technologically advanced. The dangers are made to seem remote, like specks of dust on a video screen. The deaths of Pozenich and uh, another airman called Pishkov, who died when his fighter jet was brought down by the Turks. Their deaths could not be ignored, they couldn't be swept away, and both men have been given full military funerals. They've been buried as national heroes. But you know, that's not always the case in Russia. And we're just coming back now from the western part of the country near the border with Belarus, where we heard about another funeral of a man called Fordor Zhurilov. He, it's believed, was a member of a special operations group, a Spetsnaz unit, and his friends online were saying that he too was killed in Syria. We've just come from his home village, and we were told that it is common knowledge there that he was killed again in Syria. But he had a very low-key funeral, and the Ministry of Defense, the Russian Ministry of Defense, refused to comment about his death. They won't tell us where he died, they won't tell us how he died. And we have seen this sort of thing before. Last year in Ukraine, it's widely thought that Russian soldiers died and then were, were quietly buried. They were secretly buried. And I think in this case, it raises a number of significant questions. And to start with, how many Russian citizens have died in Syria? The official death toll is three, but is it more? And secondly, how would Russian people feel? How would they react? if they believe that more people are dying than the official numbers.